Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous, and you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul's uh, letter to the Thessalonians uh, is really one that uh, we're called to take to heart and he he goes through uh, kind of a description a bit of his ministry with them but he starts talking about the Word of God uh, and that they had heard the Word of God from him and the other disciples that were with him and it was not the Word of men but it was the Word of God which is now in work in you and in you who believe, that's us, that's us. And he, so he calls us really to embrace the word of God. And then our response was, you have searched me and you know me, Lord. Mm. That one gives me pause. And it should give you pause <laughs> because the Word of God has searched us and knows us. Knows everything. <laughs> everything. Uh, and it's really quite a powerful statement to embrace the Word of God that has searched us and knows us and loves us. That's Jesus. So even the stuff in our lives that is difficult for us to look at, the Lord knows, the Lord still loves us, the Lord calls us really to healing and peace and forgiveness. The Psalm of Psalm 139 is one that I pray often in this context. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? I go up to the heavens and you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. God is everywhere we go. God is present everywhere we go. God is with us everywhere we go. And in this special moment, God is here. In this Eucharist. But especially giving himself to us in his body and blood. Let's celebrate that together.